On July 11, 2011, I had the opportunity to witness the demolition of the Miss China, a 67-foot former commercial fishing boat with an interesting history. In December 2010, the ship was being used as the floating home of Nantucket scalloper Joe Dooley and his four dogs, until it broke free of its mooring in a gale and grounded in front of Brant Point Light. Since Dooley didn't have the funds to pay for the removal of the ship, the town of Nantucket took possession and paid Fairhaven, Massachusetts-based Tucker Roy Towing and Salvage to tow the ship to New Bedford. The Miss China, its engine long beyond repair, sat on a mooring in New Bedford Harbor for the next seven months, where any pollutants, fuel, and oil were removed, along with salvageable rigging and other parts prior to the ship being destroyed. As you can see, they've got the Miss China up in the, on the slings of this 400-ton marine travel lift, and they're going to lower it into the, the hopper barge that they're, they're moving in underneath the, underneath the ship. And after that, they're going to take it, take it in the barge, bring it north of here, and they're going to have a, an excavator with shears on it, and that's how they're going to take it apart. Once the ship was lowered into the hopper barge and secured with boat stands, the barge was moved via tug to a location just north of the Route 6 swing bridge, where it would be taken apart by an excavator armed with massive shears. The next day I visited the site and watched as Johnny Roy expertly dismantled the ship with the excavator, assisted by his older brother, Conrad Jr. The Miss China was a former shrimper built in the mid-60s, its hull made of wood sheathed in fiberglass that peeled away like an onion skin as the excavator went to work. Once the wheelhouse was opened up, Johnny Roy carefully plucked the boat's wheel off the boat for salvage. So there it is, huh? 
<laughs> now you be able to salvage that? Yeah, for what it's worth, I guess. As Conrad Roy explained, any bronze or brass fittings are salvaged from the ship, as well as copper wiring. Meanwhile, unusable metal parts are set aside as scrap. Once the hold of the ship was exposed, Johnny began to remove the vessel's fuel tanks. Sorting through the remains of the ship yielded all kinds of unexpected treasure. So he was into spy kids. Uh, yeah, spy kids, yeah. <laughs> Looks like it's good, huh? Yeah, sure. I'll watch it. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> they are destroying things left and right. I'm filming them right now, lifting the generator out of the ship's hold. Next to go were the generator and the boat's engine. By the time I left, the Miss China had largely been reduced to a pile of wooden scrap, destined to be hauled away and burned as fuel by a waste removal service in Maine. A rather ignominious end for a venerable wooden boat.